The other tool I was going to go over is an arbor press um, and the mechanical advantages in an arbor press. Okay? So on an arbor press, this is used for pushing two parts together. Right? So if you're going down on a flat surface, uh, and uh, is this a one-ton arbor press? Yeah, it's a one-ton arbor press. How you figure out the mechanical advantage of an arbor press, or how you figure out the mechanical advantage of any of any tool really, is you figure out the amount of travel that my hand's traveling versus the amount of travel that this piston's traveling. Right? And that's kind of a good connection to the compass. Because right, if this is a radius of my circle right here, this radius is about a foot long, right? Figure out how many degrees that thing's gonna travel. Well let's start, let's do it this way. So tell me when I travel about 90 degrees. Past, right, 90 is right there. Okay, so I travel an <coughs> inch of piston travel, and this thing travels 90 degrees. So let's see if we can figure that out. So my piston travel is one inch, and then my hand is traveling 90 degrees off of 12 inches, right? So how much is my hand traveling? Um, circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. I'm going to keep it in inches instead of feet. So the circumference of that whole circle is 2 pi times 12, 24 pi inches. And I'm just going to approximate this at 3. So 3 times 24, my circumference of this whole circle is 72 inches. Right? So that's this whole circle. We're not traveling the whole circle. We're traveling how much of it? How much? A quarter of it. A quarter of it. 90 of 360. Right? So I multiply it by the ratio of what I want over the total, and I get 18 inches. So the mechanical advantage with that long lever, my hand travels 18 inches when that piston travels one inch. So it's an 18 to 1 mechanical advantage. Any questions on that arbor press?